All right, man, Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So today, 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 just let y'all know, um, I'm still on the run. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, today's episode is going to be talking about Kendrick being an industry plant. And this is what's the narrative that's going around. This comes courtesy of Chilling with Moni. You know, we love her over here. All right, look, man. So before I get into that, you know, I got to get my legendary spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here while I'm on the run, if you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links is on the screen. I'm definitely going to need them right now. <laughs> Cash app PayPal is in the description. Let y'all know. I'm saying they called me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over, to over 12,000 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? In a short span of time, and I'll be a million by Monday morning. And let me know where you're from too, man. I really appreciate it. So look, man, we're going to get right into this because I think this is a good one. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to be back to discuss. Let's go. All right, man. Excuse me being so damn black. I'm really black in this. Excuse me. You know what I'm saying? I'm using a natural light right now because the other light, for some reason, is acting stupid. So, uh, yeah, we're going to use the natural light for this video. All right, man. So, look, we're going to play this. Chillin' Mamoni. Let's go, man. Get into this video because, cousins, we got a new narrative about Kendrick Lamar that just dropped. A new narrative just dropped, and apparently Kendrick Lamar is an industry pan. Yes, Kendrick Lamar is an industry plant. According to the Ovi Hoes, he's an industry plant. Now, I didn't see this one on my bingo card for 2024, but yes, cousins, that's the new narrative that's just dropped. Earlier this week, it was announced that Kendrick Lamar's Meet the Grams was rated the most acclaimed song of 2024, according to Album of the Year. Now, here's the thing. I heard about this website, and it's kind of like Metacritic in a way. If you ever, if any of y'all ever heard of Metacritic, ch check it out. It's okay. It's okay. I say basically, people vote in. Um, what I will say is, I'm not surprised that Kendrick Lamar is the number one um, album or the record of the of the year because he does a lot that's actually pretty innovative and pretty good, and he's intense. And he makes move makes movements within the movement, so I can understand why she's saying that. I mean, I can understand why they why they're saying that, why they voted that. So let's keep it going. Now, album of the year is a website where its users can rank music from all genres by giving them a score. So, say for example, Tyler the Creator, new project, Chromacopia just dropped. If you listen to the album, you can go to the website and give it a ranking of what you thought it's worth. Or a new single just came out, Meg's Bigger in Texas just came out. If you want, you can go on that website and rank the song Bigger in Texas as a user of the website. So Meet the Grams was giving a credit score. It's not, it says NR, I'm not sure what that stands for yet, but the user score for Meet the Grams is a user score of 98. Um. I, I believe the NR is not not uh, not rated or uh not registered or uh I don't know. I don't know exactly what that or that NR stands for. Uh there'd be a bunch of different reasons why it says NR. We don't know, but uh yeah, I don't know. But let's keep it going. And nine thousand one hundred and sixty six people rated the song. So for twenty twenty four, it's the the highest score of ninety eight. If you look at the score, Hammer and Hammer Doves was also ranked a ninety seven. Apex Twin was ranked number three by its users. Euphoria is also on the list at number four. But so for twenty twenty four, Meet the Grams was ranked number one. Meet the Grams is also ranked number two all time by the users on this website. Who's number one? Kendrick Lamar with the Black of the Barrier has a score of 98 and this was updated in 2015. Number three on this list, I'm not sure 
You see how that is? Kendrick Lamar is number one and number two. Now I'm I'm surprised that Not Like Us didn't hit this uh this chart. I think for some people, Not Like Us is so popular that they 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 don't want to put it in their chart because they feel like it's unfair that it's so popular like how it's popular and it's actually that good that they don't want to I wouldn't be surprised if Not Like Us didn't win any awards at the Grammys because to be honest with you, it just won all those BET awards. And I think that if not like us was to go to the Grammys, it's sweeping everything too. So I think that they want to be fair. Cause the thing is people don't want to, they don't want to go off of actual talent. They want to go off of how they feel and what they believe something should be because they want to be fair across the board. You know what I'm saying? But let's keep it going. Chico, whoever Chico is, shout out to Chico. Uh, Marvin Gaye is also on this list for what's going on. This song was uploaded in 1971. Number five is Wu-Tang Clan, Cream, Cash Was Everything Around Me with a risk score of 98. This was updated in 1994. So again, this is a website that allows its fans, its users to rate songs, rate albums for other people to come and see if this is worth listening to sounds simple so again it was announced <laughs> that Kendrick Lamar is the number one most acclaimed song of 2024 according to a AOTY album of the year users this guy Dr. Sweets reposted it stating I hope y'all see what's going on here Dr. Sweets what's going on yeah that's the question I have I have that's the question I have what is really going on because a lot of y'all to me, y'all just bitter. Y'all bitter that this man is, he did it the right way. You know what I'm saying? Kendrick did it the right way. And y'all mad about it. Y'all want to find such a flaw or something y'all can use against him. But nothing y'all say is working. Nothing. Nothing y'all say is working. And y'all want to find something wrong with this man. Y'all want to. And y'all can't. And that's the bad, that's the sad part about it. A lot of y'all want to find something wrong, but y'all can't. So let's see what the, let's see what this guy says. I don't know what's going on. Let us know what's going on. But then, so that furthered a dialogue where this page clearly is a, a, a fan page because that's not even her picture. That's a picture of Nicki Minaj. But this person, I don't know if it's a man or a woman, says he's never beating the industry plants allegations. So this is what sparked the dialogue. 37,000 people reviewed. That's crazy as hell. So Kendrick Lamar, out of everybody that you see in the industry, is an industry plant. You, A lot of y'all don't even know what industry plant even means. And it's so crazy to me. It's so crazy to me how y'all use these terms and don't even know what they mean. Y'all just go off of what y'all hear somebody else say. He's an industry plant? Is that the best y'all got? Kendrick Lamar is an industry plant. Now he's an industry plant. Out of, every, out of, out of all the artists, he's the industry plant. I mean, to... to Let's look at this logically. Drake would be more of an industry plant than Kendrick. He would be more of the industry plant than Kendrick. And again, a lot of y'all don't even know what that means. Y'all just saying it because y'all hear it. He's never beaten the industry plant allegations. What, what? Somebody told you this. I never heard these allegations that Kendrick is an industry plant. Y'all hear something or y'all see something on one person's page that is not even known. Not even known. And y'all automatically say that's what that is. It's crazy. You'll see something on Twitter from a guy who has a thousand, thousand followers and you'll say, oh, yeah, see, it's an industry plant. This guy said it. It's like it's crazy to me, man. Well, let's keep it going. This comment. So that's. That's where the discourse uh, started to come from, where people are talking about Kendrick Lamar is now an industry plan. Y'all, again, I did not have that on my bingo card for the year 2024, especially since a lot of the OB hosts pretend Kendrick Lamar is this unknown artist. An unknown artist that's an industry plan? It's not making sense. 
Y'all said his career didn't go anywhere. He's starving for recognition. He's equivalent to a SoundCloud rapper. So that's why he started trouble with Drake. Kendrick Lamar is milking the beef because he needs this attention from Drake. But honey, this, this narrative, industry plant narrative might be my favorite one so far. And it feels like they are coming to terms with reality that you can't lie about Kendrick's success anymore. You can't pretend about Kendrick's success anymore. They That's 100% facts. You can't, y'all can't lie no more. It's over for y'all. Let's be clear here. I'm not sitting here saying that uh, that uh, y'all can't have your own opinions. Everybody got their own opinions, but don't lie. Don't just make up stuff because you want to be right. A lot of y'all are just bitter. Y'all bitter because Drake lost. Let's just keep it a hundred. Y'all bitter because Drake lost. He got his boot smoked and y'all mad about it. That's what it is. Y'all mad. Y'all thought that he was going to win and he lost. And he lost spectacularly. He lost bad. And y'all mad. Y'all upset. Y'all y'all are bitter as hell. A bunch of bitter bitches. That's what y'all are. That's what y'all are. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what y'all are. But let's keep it going. We are finally acknowledging that Kendrick Lamar is a force, has been a force. So now the last resort after all of the narratives did not work is that they are mounting his apparent success to being an industry brand. I swear they drop a new narrative quicker than Drake is aging in the face. But that's another story. So you cousins, I know we're into this video. Let's define what an industry plant is. An industry plant is an artist who presents themselves as being independent and doing things on their own term, but secretly has the industry backing and money to fund them to artificially shape such a narrative. Again, according to so with that with that meaning with that definition you would definitely say drake's an industry plant you would have to lean more that drake is an industry plant you know what i'm saying i would lean more drake's industry plant how can kendrick be an industry plant oh, after all the things he did he doesn't come out enough to be an industry plant that doesn't make sense it's like how can you say that he's an industry plant he doesn't release a lot of music it's like y'all just say anything. It's so crazy to me how y'all just say anything. Y'all just say anything. Anything that comes it comes across your screen, you read it and just say, oh yeah, that's what that is. Y'all a bunch of NPCs, man. Y'all a bunch of bots. A lot of y'all always talk about Drake and Kendrick or whoever had bots. Y'all the bots. Y'all the bots. Y'all the bots. So it is what it is, man. But let's keep it going. Obi Holes, Kendrick has been handed his career. From a nobody, Drake needed, he needed Drake's help and Kendrick did this just for attention. So my thing is, which one is it? Is he successful? Is he not successful? Why is it now that this is a discourse? Drake does nothing better than Kendrick aside from having higher stream numbers. And that's reasonable when your catalog is tripled in quantity. Because he isn't the better artist. He doesn't make the better music. He doesn't have the better music videos. And he isn't a better performer. But y'all yeah, call Kendrick an industry plant. But you know who just might be an industry plant? The guy who's been beating his chest talking about don't bring the numbers up because I'm out of here. Drake is the one with the most streaming numbers, right? Drake has the higher selling tours. I mean, he had to go tap other people on the shoulder to break, break Kendrick's record. But he's the one with the higher selling tour. That's what I'm saying. You know, another thing that, that kind of like a lot of people overlook is y'all always talking about how Drake is a bigger artist than Kendrick, right? And I noticed this. Drake had a lot of help. He had a lot of help. You know what I'm saying? He had a lot of help to put him where he at. Now, I'm not saying Kendrick didn't have some help, but Kendrick mostly is known for being Kendrick. Drake is mostly known for being helping people and being in the features and having ghostwriters. It's a big difference. So, let's keep it going. Drake is the one with the big $400 million contract, right? Him and Kendrick are associated with the same label in some type of capacity. But Drake is the one being afforded all of the, the luxuries more than Kendrick. Ain't Drake the one 
with the the Spotify and the Apple Music partnerships where Drake can create his own recommendation algorithms that gives him the control over how his music is presented and discovered on the platform. Yo, that's crazy. I didn't even know that. I didn't know that Drake can actually recommend what algorithms he can be a part of. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, you, this nigga gets so much special treatment, bro. It's so crazy. I never seen nothing like it. It's crazy. But let's keep it going. He has the album exclusivity through both of both um, music platforms. He has the Beats One exclusivity, Connect Future pro partnerships. Yeah, go Google those things. Go Google what those things are. They both have a connection to UMG, yet Drake is the one with the excessive partnerships. Why wouldn't they invest that in Kendrick if he's their plant? Spotify put out a whole billboard for Drake just before the beef kicked off. Y'all don't remember the Spotify ad? That they, that they... They had it up in Times Square. I'm not even sure if this is Times Square. I remember the Spotify ad that they that they posted for the boy. They had it up in Times Square. I'm not even sure if this is Times Square, but it looks like it. But they had they had it up. Hip hop, it was a competitive sport just before the beef was about to drop. This was all for Drake's benefit. But Kendrick is the industry plan. I'm not getting. Yeah, I don't get that either. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't get that. <clears throat> I don't get that either. How you going to say that Kendrick is an industry plant when all of these industries work for Drake? They all working around Drake. They all helping Drake. How's Kendrick the industry plant? I was like, yo, y'all just say anything, man. Let's keep it going. Yeah. Kendrick Lamar, the one who was pushing mixtapes as a teenager. Kendrick Lamar, who was busting down plates of food with Schoolboy Q, Absol, J Rock, and riding in Top's Red Charger trying to make it to these to these random shows. Kendrick, who started off as J-Rock's hype man. Kendrick Lamar, who showed up to the XXL freshman photo shoot, asking for an opportunity because J. Cole was running late. Kendrick, who was performing money trees at Best Buy. Y'all don't know what an industry plan is. Y'all don't. Y'all don't know what an industry plan is. Like, And that's 100% facts. That's 100% facts. Yeah, man. Y'all really don't know what industry plan is. I don't think a lot of y'all just say anything just to say it, but make sure y'all go follow Chilla Lamoni. You know what I'm saying? Great, great channel, great channel. Love her work. Yeah, man. The thing is, and I, what I notice is a lot of y'all just latch on to whatever everybody else says. Nobody can think for themselves. Nobody can say, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong on this. Maybe this is it, what it is. And it's just, it's annoying to see. It's so annoying to see that how a lot of y'all don't have a brain for y'all own. Like y'all don't have your own independent thoughts. Y'all have to go off of what everybody else says. And it's crazy because even me, with me saying this, it goes in one ear and out the other because y'all think y'all right. That's what it is. And it's like every time I turn around, it's a new narrative that y'all trying to paint against Kendrick Lamar. Every time I turn around, it's something new. Oh, it's this, it's that, it's this, it's that, it's this, it's that. Why? Why? Y'all can't just accept a loss? And let's, let's be clear here. Let's be clear here. Let's say for argument's sake, Kendrick Lamar is an industry plant. Wouldn't you rather him be an industry plant and actually bring back or restore what real hip hop is? Wouldn't you rather that? So you saying he's an industry plant doesn't mean anything to me because to, to, I mean, better yet, if he is an industry plant, then guess what? I would rather him be an industry plant and him bring back real hip hop than somebody that's an industry plant that doesn't. That's the thing. And another thing, too, that y'all got to understand. All of these artists, and that's including Kendrick Lamar, everybody wants to be successful. Everybody wants to make money. Right. And I'm not saying that Kendrick is money hungry. I ain't saying Drake is money hungry. I ain't saying that. But everybody wants to be successful. So y'all got to stop this trying to downplay artists as if they have to be a poor, successful rapper. 
<coughs> excuse me most of y'all think that most of these artists have to be poor and be successful at the same time because you gotta be you gotta be able to relate to them i gotta be able to relate to kendrick if he if kendrick is successful then he's a sellout he's an industry plant if he does this it's okay for drake to do it because drake ain't from the hood but if kendrick does it and he comes successful he's a sellout that's the whole that's the whole narrative that's being pushed and being ran with is the fact that a man can't a black man like Kendrick Lamar can't be successful without being a sellout. That's how it goes. And this is what y'all saying. But either way, man, if he's an industry plant, I would rather him be an industry plant because I know he's going to restore hip hop back to what it used to be. And don't y'all want that? If y'all don't, then shut up. All right, man. Y'all have yourself a good night. All right. See y'all. Peace. Bye.